so yeah in this video we are going to implement the first tag which is nothing but the first workflow because as i told you in one of our previous video DAGs are used to create the workflows in apache airflow right so we already discussed the use case right so i just quickly wanted to show you the you know the file which i'm going to use in this video uh, in this you know couple of videos where we are creating the tag so it is a retail data where we have invoice number stock code description etc etc we are not much worrying about this data pre-processing steps right because we already know it assuming we already know it right so <coughs> These are the two major steps that we are doing in Python. One is data preprocessing and data aggregation. I'll quickly show you that file, what I'm just trying to do. Here I'm just trying to read the file, right? And I'm checking if uh, in the description, if there are any special characters, I'm just replacing it. And then I'm checking if there is any null values. And the final file I'm writing in this particular location. What is this tilt? We'll understand, right? And once we wrote in this particular folder with this particular file name, then we are calling our aggregation Python code. Did you see? I did data preprocessing, right? Where I do all the cleaning of my data, etc. etc. And then maybe you can call this aggregation layer as an EDL layer, where you know we are trying to get some insights out of the data. Right? So again, as I said, I am doing it very simple. Right, I'm just creating one column called total price where I'm you know multiplying the unit price into quantity and then finally this time I'm writing this file into the op files folder right so ip files is my input file folder where I have my file once I do the data basic data preprocessing I'm again writing it to the same folder with a different file name and this file this output file will be picked by my aggregation task where it do the basic you know it created one column and then i know the final file i'm writing in the op files and with this is the final okay and i'll also show you the folder structure this is the input file maybe i'll delete this particular file all right and this is my output folder where i'm writing my final aggregation data once i wrote in this folder the aggregated data then the next step will be creating the table if not exist then take that particular file and you know insert it to the database and then send an email this we already discussed now in our previous video we already seen how to start the server right using docker so if you see this these are the two folders which we are talking about ip files where my input file will come and op file where i'll i'll my final you know the file uh, processed file will be written and we also talked about why we are using this volumes right we are mounting this particular folder to this particular you know folder in the linux operating system our we are using ubuntu as we discussed and on top of ubuntu we installed you know apache airflow postgres mysql databases right so i'll also show you this folder right once we create it i'll show you how we can log into you know uh, the docker linux operating system and check the folder structure i'll show you all those things and this dax folder is an important thing in this particular folder right if you see yeah this is the folder where we'll be creating our dac right and also where we'll be creating our python files right for example in our case these two particular files right and as i told you in our previous video this is the folder where you have to place your DAX. Nothing but if you place your DAC file here, this particular folder, it's nothing but a deployment. So, so you're deploying your DAC in an Apache Airflow. Now, let's not waste the time. Let me open the spider. Right? Better I'll I'll zoom in and also I'll maximize the screen. Now as usual we know that we'll be start importing the one second yes yeah we'll start import importing our package so from a flow import dag right 
so we finally imported our tag <laughs> we just imported our tag now the actual task right what is the first step the first step is to check if the file exists or not right so before that we need to initialize the tag there are two different ways to initialize the dog but we'll go with the standard one right call with operator I know most of you guys know what are the benefits of using with, right? Mostly you'll be using when you are reading a file, when you're connected to a database, right? This, this is just a nice way to use, right? So we imported the DAG, right? Now DAG ID. This is the important thing, right? When you deploy your Apache Airflow pipeline, right? It won't consider your file name as your project name. It will consider the file, I mean, the uh, what are the name you are giving here, it will consider as an, uh, for example, better, yeah, if you see analytics, this is one of the DAC I deployed. This is not the name of my Python file, by the way, right? This is the name which I have given in the DAC ID. So, keep it in mind, DAC ID is unique across your projects, so you should make sure that the DAG ID is unique, right? You cannot have two different workflows with the same DAG ID, right? As I said, it should be unique. So <clears throat> maybe analytics one, because maybe I'll give you workflow, right? And then we should tell when is the start date. Okay, before that, we have one more thing called default arguments, right? So I'll explain you what is default arguments. So first, let me create a dictionary, default arguments. You can give any name. And then owner, who is the owner? Owner is nothing but the user, right? So here, if you see, <coughs> uh, where can I show you this? Okay. <laughs> strange i should be able to see the logout button here but yeah user is nothing but a login user right so in our case the user is airflow because that's what we have given when we are creating a let me show you that mm -mm 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 -mm. where have we given Okay, we did not provide it anyway. So the default user is uh, Airflow. So that is what I am using. I did not create any user, right? Now this is Airflow, and then start date. From when I am going to start this workflow? I mean, like let's say if I deploy it today, but I want to start this workflow from tomorrow or maybe after two, three days. So in that case, you know, we, we are providing the start date, right? Start date is the mandatory start date and owner. These two are the mandatory parameters which we need to pass when we are initializing the tag. So obviously, right, so we have to import uh, the date time, right? Import date time, okay. Date time okay run date time import date time <coughs> okay so we've imported the date time package now let's say here i want to start date time when what is the date today year 2021 and what is the month 07 and what is the day? Today is 7th, right? What is the issue here? Invalid token. Mm -hmm. Mistake, date time, right? Let's run this. Okay, so we should not pass zeros here. That's one, that's a second fault. Right, it ran successfully. Now we have to pass this default documents here. This is mandatory, we have to pass it. And then now 
the very first thing is we have to give the unique DAG ID every time, right? And then we have to pass the default documents where, you know, what is the user and when is the start date. And now we have to pass the schedule interval, right? So obviously we told from when this workflow should run. At the same time, we should also tell at what frequently this should run, right? That's called schedule interval. So there are a couple of options, right? <coughs> so I said daily for now. And now, yes. So now we successfully initiate our DAC. Now, what is the first step? <coughs> Check if file exists or not, right? For that, we have to import an operator called bash operator. <coughs> so I'll say from airflow, airflow, import. <coughs> no, better we'll do like this from airflow, op operators, from operators, bash operator. Then I'm importing bash operator. <coughs> okay so what is operator what is task you'll understand in some time right i'll explain in detail so now <coughs> we're implementing the first step. what we'll name it we'll name it maybe check file is equal to bash operator right so here we need to give the task ID. okay DAG ID is a unique identity for your workflow, where task ID is a unique identity within the given workflow, right? This task ID should be unique within your given workflow, where the DAG ID should be unique across your different workflows, right? <clears throat> so obviously, right? So if you if you see all these are different different steps, technically speaking, different different tasks, and each task should have some unique, uh, you know, ID, right? That is nothing but the task ID. Check file. That's the name I'm giving. And then there is one more uh, inbuilt, you know, uh, command called bash underscore see, command function. So <clears throat> here we need to check if the file exists or not, right? So what is the folder? I actually okay a flow here so yeah in this particular folder we need to check if the file exists or not right technically speaking in our view this particular file is in a windows machine right but when you run the container this file will be by default located in which location let me open the docker file yes <coughs> It will present in this location. Okay. So let me pass this command. Shasham, right? This is one of the way where you know it will check the file, right? In this particular location with this particular file name if it is present or not. Okay. So what is this state? So <clears throat> now what happened when? Uh, when it when this particular task or you know the tag runs in the linux system this still is nothing but this particular you know folder that is like the environment path variable airflow is deployed right so in the place of tilt you will get this particular folder location and slash ip files and slash the file inside it clear let me move this out right <clears throat> and now the other important thing is retries t r i e s how many times i need to retry right the other important thing is retry delay obviously i cannot try one after another immediately right there should be some time gap maybe some seconds minutes right so r e retry delay is equal to Mm, yeah, we can use time delta, right? I can say time delta as seconds is equal to maybe. <clears throat> if I don't find the file, I'm saying, you know, first time 
After 15 seconds, you go and check. If you still don't find it, again after 15 seconds, go and check. All right. So I'm just storing this. Maybe mm, our first workflow. Right. So I don't want to extend this video. So what we'll do is, so we'll stop it here. In the next video, we'll I'll just show you, right? So whatever we are saving in this particular folder, DAX, right? I says this is nothing but the deployment. We'll we'll try to log in into you know uh, the Linux container and see the folder structure and we'll see if it is mounted or not. And also we'll see in the Apache Airflow UI, right? So hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.